let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Devils will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Sends it into the offensive zone. Keeps a hold of the puck. Tries to feed it over to the brinket. The Red Wings have the puck in the corner. And that's blocked. Puck grab by Siegenthaler. Here's a short pass. Break away. Oh, what a save. Read it perfectly. Oh, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, James, but wasn't able to sell the fake nice save by the tender. Moves it quickly over to Toffoli. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. That opportunity is rejected. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Poked away in the offensive end. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Oh, and that closes him off against the wall. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. And that was stopped. Quick feed to Cobb. Takes the feed. And he takes the dish. Stops it with a glove. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Still no score in this one. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Mercer's got it against the boards. Shuts it down with the power. What a stop. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Cops want it in their own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Quick pass to Sprong. And he takes the feed. That's gloved by Vanacek. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Comfers won the draw and they're on the attack. Check, and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Tosses it on to Comper. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Hughes. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Handles the pass. Comper's into the offensive zone now on the attack. The Devils gain control of the puck against the wall. And that's blocked away. Detroit's gained possession. Puck picked up by Gostas Bear. Great reach with the stick by Rasmussen. Tries to get it over to Meyer. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. The Devils have it against the wall. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Wow, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save and everyone around you is appreciative. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Past the midway mark of the frame, Detroit's up one zip. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Slick feed. Scooped up along the wall by Noshek. 
And now it's grabbed by Wallman. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Detroit's got the puck against the half wall. And that banks off a stick. Right in the low slot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. He's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Here's a short pass to McLeod. Tremendous read as he pucks it away with the paddle. Quick pass to Lazar. To the low slot. Makes the save. big part of his squad scoring when he gets going with his game. Larkin's greatest asset is his speed. His wheel zone ability means he can really fly when he's got the space to move. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. Oh, what a save in front. The Devils move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Siegenthaler. You don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. because almost every fan is in their seats here as we are still tied with the second getting underway. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Red Wings will want to put that first period behind them, James, and to be honest, they're lucky that it's a tied game. They didn't manage the puck, they didn't own it, and they didn't make good first-pass decisions. They'll need to shore that up if they want to get ahead in this one. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Quick feed to Pratt. New Jersey's on the attack. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Sends it over to Sider. Good hit on the play. Detroit's got the puck behind the net. Takes the feed. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Great reach with the poke check by Meyer. Here's the chance to set up now. Moves the puck. Great read with the stick. peron has been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. Quick pass to Sider. The and Devils five. pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes a shot, and that one's turned aside. He's the emotional leader of this team, and he typically scores in this type of situation, but the goaltender shuts the door, and that's key, because he's an emotional leader, and you know if he's good, he's gonna generate a ton of energy for his team. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The next goal could be a big one, as we are tied. Comfer's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Shot! And that goes off a body. Pushes it across to Hurts. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Taken by Hala. And he's able to handle that one. Huso's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team give him a real opportunity to win 
Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Devils will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Huso's got the puck and he's going to hang on. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. And makes the save. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. The Devils win it. Tonight, Bar Huso. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. More than half the period has expired. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. New Jersey's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Big time plus save by Huso. To hang on. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. New Jersey's won the draw. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Grabbed along the board by Gerdren. Vanacek's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. To bring it known for overpowering goalies with a hard, fast one-timer. His 1T zone ability is that signature shot, and it's how he gets some of his best looks, guys. Take it along the wall by Marino. Moves it to Paul. The Devils cross the line and gain the zone. Quick shot. Oh, what a save with a goal. Musso dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. There's the save. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on and give his team a breather. Sider's known for doing his best work in the defensive zone. Guys, his stick him up zone ability, it's what allows him to make great use of his stick checking to defend in his own end of the ice. Slides the pass over to Perron. On the backhand in front. Oh, stick save and a few. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. New Jersey's offense has been in full effect tonight as they continue to lead late in this second period. The Red Wings win it. To the Ozone. New Jersey's got the puck in the defensive end. Into the offensive end now. New Jersey's got the puck against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Sherratt. Fisher's moving the puck through his own zone. Dumps it in. Good solid check and he loses control of it. And he sends it across to Hamilton. Some good stick work to force that turnover. And he feeds it down to Rasmussen. The Red Wings will play it in their own end. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Vanacek's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Here in the late goings of the period, the Devils are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. The Red Wings take possession off the faceoff. And that doesn't reach the net. And now he moves it quickly to Sherratt. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Meyer. Here's a short pass to Mercer. Handles the puck. Shots in front. Big save just as time runs out. 
Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Detroit's behind in this game because they've mismanaged the puck change. You know the coach is not going to be happy. They weren't ready right from the get-go at puck drop and really chasing the game all over the ice, forcing plays and giving up the puck way too easily. Moves it quickly over to Toffoli. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Gains the zone. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And he loses control here. He grabs the puck here at the point. New Jersey's got a hold of the puck now. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Directs it on over to Dabrinkit. Larkin's got the puck. And he takes the pass. And he turns that one aside. Quick feed to Perro. How did he stop that one? There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Devils lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. And that pass is intercepted. The Devils have been stealing pucks all game and when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck, but they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Great use of the stick at center by Heischer. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Sends a pass over. Gets a glove on it to make the save. The Devils have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight, and they continue to lead in the third. New Jersey's got possession here in their own end. Detroit's got possession of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Club goes up, makes the save. And off the draw, they win possession. Big time stop. Vanacek's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. New Jersey's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. Quick pass to Heischer. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Moves it to Heischer. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. The Red Wings play it along the wing. The Devils have it now. New Jersey's looking to break out. And it's a quick pass to pull up. Along the half wall with the puck. Now a quick pass. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. The Red Wings have the puck now. New Jersey's got possession here in the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Wolman. Steps into the offensive end. The pass in front. He's Keeps the 
goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. The Red Wings tied things up, and suddenly we're in next goal win territory, Cheryl. Yeah, these last minutes are critical in this game, and you know that the big mistake that happens, it could be the last one. Larkins won the draw here in the open ice. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Devils gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Toffoli. And he slides it quickly to Hughes. And the save. And he slides it quickly to Brat. Big time shot block there. Here's a chance. With the stop. Picked up along the wall by Toffoli. The Red Wings gain possession. Gaining momentum along Takes it over the line. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Scooped up along the wall by Hamilton. Takes the pass. Can't get it to go. Pops across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Moves it quickly over to Meyer. Here's a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Puck moved over to Strong. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Denied by the puck stopper. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Who had the edge? Well, let's stand by with the answer. Hughes has stuck with it in a game where he hasn't been able to generate points, guys. I like his effort, so he's got my vote here. Puck grab by ball. And now it's grabbed by Pilat. Knocked away with the stick by Mata. Constance taking it from his own end. Slides the puck over. There's the buzzer, and that means drama looms with overtime. And it's coming up in just a matter of moments. Who'll be the hero? Will there be a zero? Overtime, set to go. Sudden death overtime is underway. Gaining steam here on the attack for the win. And it comes up with a huge save. A chance in front. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Hamilton's a special player, and his zone ability makes him a good offensive threat, guys. Let's see if he uses that to his advantage here in overtime. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Oh, look at the pass! Too many bodies in the way. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Moves the puck to Dabrinkit. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Quick feed to Dabrinkit. Oh, it goes right off the post! I like the habits and the shot selection right there, James, but it goes off of the pipe, doesn't go in the four by all alone. Oh, what a save! That was the game right there! Wow! Timing is everything, James, and this is overtime. You have to out-battle your opponent. And wow, what a beautiful save and read by the tender. Fantastic save! Sends the pass over. They've got it on that rush. Takes it across the blue line. Shot! Oh, what a save! gonna hang on for a whistle. A critical draw here. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. Hard hit frees up the puck. Cops got it across the line. Fans screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. And that's intercepted by Mercer. We've played three periods, we've played overtime, and still nothing settled. We're off to a shootout next. He sure's a set of ice. He's ready to get this thing underway. Reads it perfectly and makes the save. Love that he doesn't sit back in his crease, but he gets out and challenges and takes away as much of the net as possible. Hoping to get his 
team right back into this shootout. And he comes up clutch here in the shootout. Um, this is why they practice it a lot of the time post-practice. James, goaltenders want work on this, so do shooters. He does a great job of anticipating to make that save. And he says, uh-uh, on -uh, that play. Yeah, the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease, just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. Scores! And it finds its way in the back of the net. And this is why your skilled players are paid the big bucks, James. You have to be able to embrace the pressure like he does there, and he just buries it to keep his team alive. You can look at his teammates' faces on that bench. They are exhausted. They'd love to see him win it right now. Makes a save and look good doing that one. Yeah, the body language, everything about him is telling you that he's confident and composed right now. Makes a save on that shootout attempt. Well, with today's technology and all the resources available, you know that goaltenders have the book on the shooter, and I'm telling you, he read this one perfectly. And he